What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a quick tip that I use every time that I'm modeling to make myself faster. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so at some point, I'm gonna compile all of these into like a massive tips guide that you can download. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet because it's a lot of different tips. So you can get some of the most essential tips. You need to be using all of these in SketchUp by visiting the SketchupEssentials.com slash tips to get that guide. But in this situation, specifically what I wanted to talk about is using the styles in SketchUp in order to get faster at moving objects around. And so I've got this model that I downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's a Mike Brestel model. It's the Butterfly Cabin Small Variant 1. And so in this case, what I want to do is I want to be able to take objects and move them around and align them really quickly. And as of right now, say that I wanted to use a point on this grill to move it around and align it. Well, right now getting to a point that's gonna be like on the backside and under is really kind of tricky. Like you can kind of do it, right? You can zoom in here and then double click and then find a point and move it around, but it's not gonna be very fast. And so the tip for this week is toggle X-ray mode. On. Oh, and by the way, stick around to the end because I've also got a tip that's gonna make this even faster. And so remember in your styles toolbar, right? So you can right click and you can go to styles and you can activate this tool. Well, when you toggle x-ray mode on, you can see through your object, but not only can you see through your object, notice how you can also inference to points on that object, right? So if I get in here and I use this or I move this, um, notice how now I'm able to pick up that rear wheel and use it as kind of an alignment point. Things are jumping around a little bit, that's okay. But I can use that in order to align this object to a different point really quickly. And so that's fine, right? You can go up here, you can click and toggle this on and off. I highly recommend if you haven't already assigning a keyboard shortcut to this. Now I'm not 100% sure in a base install of SketchUp if this is already set up. I have it set up on my computer so I can go to window, preferences, and we wanna to go to shortcuts. And specifically, I wanna filter for X-ray, right? You want view, face style, X-ray. And so notice how I have this toggled to the X key, meaning when I tap X, X-ray mode is gonna turn on. If you don't have this, what you can do is you can type in a value in this add shortcut function, click on the little plus right here. And I'm just going to say yes, because it's going to replace the X that was already there. But when you click on the plus, it's going to add that as a keyboard shortcut. Well, now if I tap the X key on my keyboard, notice how this is going to toggle on and off like this. So we can use this in order to really quickly um, toggle that mode off. Now, Bonus tip on this one, because I think when you toggle into x-ray mode, it's a little hard to see with all the textures that are applied to these faces. So the other thing you can do is you can also apply a keyboard shortcut to the hidden line. And so say you wanted to do that, you could go to preferences right here, and we can just type in hidden line. So view face style hidden line. We could add a shortcut of H, whoops. We're just gonna say H in here, click on plus. I don't really jump to camera pan, but you could set it to be something else. But now if I tap the H key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna to toggle hidden line on. And then now notice how you can kind of see through this and you're not dealing with all of those textures being in the way. Now you could also set a toggle to toggling your shaded with textures back on if you wanted to, but notice how now my inferencing is a lot faster like this. So x-ray I can toggle on and off. Um, so the hidden line mode is just gonna take me to this hidden line mode like this with x-ray mode. And you can use that in order to quickly see these different objects in here. Now you could also, if you didn't wanna toggle x-ray mode on, you could also toggle on um, you could toggle on back edges. Now for me, the back edges, I'm not as big of a fan just cause notice how I'm seeing all of the back edges in the model right here. And so I'm seeing all these bolts and stuff, which I don't think is very helpful. I'd rather have the x-ray mode because it fades things that are further back. But notice how I can pick up the foot of this sofa, for example, and I can move this around, right? I can tap my left or right arrow key to lock it to an axis and I can move this around. And then when you're done with all that, you can just toggle 
your textures back on, toggle your x-ray mode back off. But I pretty much constantly, when I'm moving things around, I just tap X, find the thing I want to inference for, then tap X again in order to toggle it off. All right, so that's our quick tip for the day. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this or if you have some variation of this that you use. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.